Hey, this is Alien Entity. This is the 9-11 Phantom Tire Mystery Solved Part 2, Aircraft Debris, WTC Tower Collapse, and the Dusty Tire. You may recall the truther claim that four pictures taken uh, of tires, of landing gear actually, found at the corner of West and Rector Streets on 9-11 are not the same tire taken from different uh, uh, cameras and so on and times, but are different tires. And you will recall that in my last video, I showed very clearly how the uh, two pictures which were alleged to be different tires are in fact the same tire based on markings on the tire. Very easy to identify on close examination. I decided to follow up a little bit on the fourth picture, the dusty tire. So here's the first picture. You see the scaffolding. Uh, you see a little lamp standard there. There's a lot of people standing around. This is obviously early. Um, what happened was Flight 11 had hit the North Tower and debris had been scattered south. Um, I'll get into some of that, uh, some of the details of the debris. And this included one bit of landing gear which made it all the way to this uh, street corner. Uh, here's another picture of the same object. Uh, you see this is from a slightly different angle and you can see a little bit different detail. Here's another picture of the same thing taken at a different time as you can see the tape is in a different position but it's the same tire. You can see the lamp standard or street lamp or whatever it is. You can just see that in the lower part of this picture. And again if you look at the building behind you see that it's consistent. You see the scaffolding. Keep in mind the location of the tire in these pictures. So for the th first three pictures in the sequence the tires in the same location. Now in the fourth picture we see a lot of things have changed. We see the same lamp post we see the same scaffolding, but we see uh, that the tire has moved. We're showing a different aspect. It looks quite different. We see uh, different damage being exposed, uh, which was not exposed in the previous pictures. And we see a great deal of new debris and uh, a heavy layer of dust over everything. Uh, this indicates the um, aftermath of the collapse of one or both of the towers. Um, you see even if you look at the scaffolding there, you see how it's coated in in a great deal of, um, of dust, which it wasn't before. It was in pristine condition earlier on. And another important thing to note about this particular picture is that the uh, there's a, a great deal of new debris which was not evident in the other picture. So you can see, uh, besides the fact that the police tape is, is uh, all over there in disarray, so it looks like things have just been ripped to shreds, you can see a cardboard box. You can see kind of a squashed road cone that's all squashed over. You can see bits of paper. You can see behind the tire now, can you see that orange object? I really don't know what that is. That's some kind of a box-like object. And there's other paper evident as well. So, I mean, the important point from the forensic point of view looking at this picture is that even if it is the same tire, you notice that the entire scene has really changed radically. Something has happened. We presume it's the collapse of the towers. Um, that is the most likely explanation, obviously, for, for this happening. And we'll get to this later. So this is just to set up the beginning of this video, and now I'm going to continue with the rest of the introduction. This is direct evidence that airplanes crashed into the Twin Towers and not only that they were aircraft but domestic aircraft with passengers who had ordinary belongings. And we might want to take just a moment to reflect on the reality of this before embarking on this uh, testimony out of respect for those victims who died on the days. Many personal artifacts from those who perished on the day were found immediately on the street, as we shall see, and there is no other plausible explanation allowable. So first I'm going to give you the, the direct testimony about these tires and how they got to the Weston Rector, and then I'm going to give you some general testimony as well. Right behind us on the southeast corner of Weston Rector was a landing gear assembly from an aircraft lying against the curb and some scaffolding. Once we started off, I guess 30 feet in front of us, there was a lady on the ground by the curb and she was just waving her arms. That's all she could wave. 
Her legs were crushed. Apparently, she got hit by a part of the landing gear, one of the tires of the airplane. There was a large tire next to her. Walking around, we came out to Rector Street. We saw one of the landing gears from the airplane. A colleague ran in and said, an airplane just hit the World Trade Center. I said, the World Trade Center, get the fuck out. They think it was a tourist plane, like a Cessna, she said. When I got downstairs, there was a tire ripped from the landing gear of the first airplane in front of my building. The rim of the tire came up to my hip. That's no Cessna, I said. Various pieces of the plane were falling on the street. As we went down the street, you could see parts of aircraft with stencil numbers on it and things like that. There was a wheel, or like a wheel housing or something else in the street. We were driving out of the tunnel up West Street and were seeing body parts in the street, torsos, chunks of flesh, parts of airplane landing gear, car fires everywhere. It was like a war zone. We exited the tunnel and drove north on West Street, parking in the left lane a few blocks south of the WTC complex. I noticed the lamp posts were sheared off and body parts littered the street. A section of the landing gear proved to me that this was a commercial airliner. On the street, standing in a shower of office paper and the siding from the building, he found a piece of paper. It was an airliner's itinerary, listing information about a flight from Boston to Los Angeles. I noticed in the courtyard that there were valises, suitcases strewn about the courtyard. There were wallets everywhere, broken glass, and then I noticed that there were airplane tickets. Now returning to the previous picture that you already have seen, let's start from the shiny part of the hub with the jagged edge that is facing us, the closest one to us. You will see that is the same general shape as the one in the other picture. It has two little features on it, those little round, those are like pins sticking out. Okay, those are there as well. Then go up to the next uh, item, which are these uh, forged uh, round items that have been partially destroyed in a flat line those were oriented around the other way in the in the dusty tire picture but they are the same things and then moving on to the next part of the tire you see the inner rim as it were is shattered and is only about a half circle the dusty tire has the same feature showing the other side with the shattered portion so as you can see the heavily damaged and shattered portion uh, faces away from us now and it faces towards you in the dusty picture which is why the hub appears somewhat different and the huge gash in the tire well if you look over to the right of this tire you will see a long gash exactly corresponding with the same feature of the dusty tire picture but there it is. It's in the exact right place that you would expect that faces away from us. That's why we don't see it. But again, remembering that the tire probably hit something very hard. Um, it shattered one face of this whole hub and the tire. And you're seeing a mixture of different faces of this damaged material because the hub does not rotate together. So as I've demonstrated, it's the same tire in all four pictures. Of that, there can be no doubt. CNN 9-11 fakes who created the initial video that I saw should retract that video because it is untrue, it is unfounded, and it is a horrible, horrible insult to the truth.